Hundreds of thousands of people are expected to spend the night interacting with art for the city's 7th annual Nuit Blanche. And that means millions of dollars for our city. Lucy Lopez has more on what you can expect. It's dramatic and intense. Artist Victor Middick is known for famous artwork outlined in bullet holes. He's taken his art a step further. He bought a school bus and riddled it with 6,000 bullets. It's a bold exhibit dedicated to victims of gun violence and will be unveiled tomorrow night at Nuit Blanche. There's no point of sweeping anything under the carpet and say, yeah, it doesn't exist. It happens in Scarborough. It, I think it's, uh, it can happen anywhere. Middick says the exhibit is designed to get under your skin. Bring the viewer as close as possible to actual uh, gunshots, gun wounds, to show the destructive force that uh, weapons would make on a vehicle like this. Nuit Blanche exhibits are scattered across the city, but a majority of the shows are centered around City Hall and the Entertainment District. It's all new. It's 150 new projects to Toronto, different locations. Hundreds of thousands are expected to flood Toronto Saturday from dusk till dawn. Toronto police say they're stepping up their presence on the streets. Just Officers will be in cars, on foot, as well as on bicycles. They'll be patrolling. Our number one priority is public safety. Trevor Mahofsky's vision is to create an all-night convenience store. The translucent store will be lit up with 2,000 lanterns lining the shelves. He wouldn't unveil the lanterns, but says it took him 15 Things minutes to make each lantern. And people will come in and take a, a lantern and, and uh, leave the store. So the store will start uh, lit with all the products and will get dark during the evening. And this year, the atrium at the CBC has been transformed into morph. The exhibit evokes the image of a thundercloud with lights and sound that activate when people move around on the ground floor. I'm in the downstairs in the loading dock at City Hall, which will be transformed into a unique gallery tomorrow for Nuit Blanche. One of the pieces you'll see here is this here called White Dwarf. It's a floating orb made up of fans, telephones, calculators, and stereos. The artist, Ante Lu, it took him three and a half months to come up with this piece, and it's part of a larger exhibit here at City Hall called Museum for the End of the World. And I think the smoke really adds to the spook factor. Reporting live at City Hall, I'm Lucy Lopez. Thank you, Lucy.